Welcome to GTI Predictive Technology. My name is Tom Honig. Uh, we're going to be doing this video to uh, release and demonstrate ViPro 6. Uh, we had ViPro 5 out for about a year and a half while building this app from the ground up. And uh, we have over 400 users out there right now that can free upgrade on the App Store to ViPro 6 and roll forward to what we've built. Um, we're very excited to show you. So what we have for a setup here is I'm actually gonna be projecting my iPad here onto the left and uh, be recording every action that I make so that you can really see how this works. And I'm gonna open the app up real quickly. As you can see, people that have used ViPro 5, it looks a little bit different. Uh, we've got three icons instead of the just single measurement mode that we had before. And before we were saving just a photo of the spectrum or the data. Now we're recording the live data and the raw data so that we can post process. So the single measurement mode has some advancements. We can now record velocity and acceleration in the same report with a photo and the geographic map of where that was taken and it's a beautiful report. But I wanna get right into routes and measurements just to show you how severely simple this is for a technician to uh, use. And I'm gonna simulate actually taking a reading. I have an accelerometer right here next to me. I'm gonna open the route measurement mode, and you can see I have a hierarchy behind me um, of test GTI, and I'm just gonna hit the first, that's our plants and areas. I'm gonna hit the first button, which immediately releases all of the asset points or equipment that I have at that uh, test area of the plant. And as you can see, I'll pick the first one and highlight that, which is a fan. And you'll see it'll pop up with my new two measurement points that I've already pre-programmed, which is H1 means horizontal one. So all I would have to do as a technician is simply put that in the horizontal one position, which I do have a photo here I could look at to know where the previous technician had placed it. And I can simply highlight that. And as soon as I highlight that, the spectrum will come up. And you can see I'm tapping here a little bit to get a spectrum. But all the technician has to do is hit the save and back button. Hit save and back, it goes back to the hierarchy uh, screen, and he's done with that measurement point. He moves to the next measurement point, which is H1 acceleration. He would highlight that, simply take his measurement, hit save back again, and he is done with that point and moves on. Nothing is faster on the market for data collection. He can move along. We still have our iPad Air. It's very easy. He's got handles on it. He can move from point to point, and he's ready to move from point to point, taking his asset readings. So what if we have to edit that point or build that point? Let me show you this edit function real quick. We'd simply at the top hit the edit button, tap on that same position. It's in velocity. You can see I've got a nice photo of the asset point where the accelerometer is all my bearing models. Uh, and what's most important here is we have a danger and alert threshold that we can set for each piece of equipment or asset point. It isn't by ISO specifications, although there's a guide here that can guide us to ISO specification. We can dial in a specific danger level and a specific alert level for each point. And also it depicts whether we're in a vertical, axial, or horizontal position. So everything is preset into the route. We hit save and back, and that puts that route uh, permanently in its position for a one-time change in life, meaning we set it up once and we're done. And that is pretty much the route collector. There's not much more to it. So let me back out of here. And you can see on the main window, I also have the viewer. Well, anybody that's collecting routes and data, we know you have to post-process, you need to have a viewer. We have not one, but we have two. We have the iPad, which is gonna be what I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna open it up. You're gonna see the same hierarchy. But we also have this same hierarchy and the same uh, post-process viewer on any device in the world, meaning not just a Mac or a PC. We wrote a web app, which I'm gonna show you in the second part of this video, um, which is can be viewed on any device. Doesn't matter whether it's Android, Mac, your phone, whatever you need to view, you can pull up that web app, put your credentials in, and you can be viewing what I'm gonna show you here on, on the screen. So. Let's go into the viewer, we'll go to that same test point, that same fan, and we'll go to the H1 position, and you'll see I get a nice list of all the different readings that I took throughout uh, from uh, you know 2013 and December 7th all the way through to today. And all those points are in either green, yellow, or red, 
telling me by those alert thresholds where I stand at that particular asset point. If I hit the overall trend, you can see we have a beautiful uh, trend of that data point. We can see all the dates along the way that we've taken those measurement points. We can scroll back, click on machine maintenance, and you can see I still have that nice list in green, yellow, and red, but there's a couple of red ones where I've created a maintenance event. You see a little balancing icon or below it, a little alignment icon. So if I click on that, I can actually view that particular maintenance event. So at that point, that means I balance that asset point. And you can see a picture of the fan there. You can see some notes that I made and you can see the full balancing report that I'm scrolling through right on your maintenance event. So this keeps track of everything, not only your measurements, but anything that you correct along the way. So I'm gonna move back from there and you can see we can look at any one of those spectrums along the way and post-process them. So let's just pick one here. We'll pull up the spectrum, bring it to scale, and you can see with my cursor, I can move it around. I can put it on a particular point and see what that measurement point was, its amplitude and its frequency. I can pinch the spectrum in and out, uh, do all kinds of post-processing right from the iPad. Okay, we're on the second portion of our video here, which is our web app viewer. And immediately, what you'll recognize from the beginning of the video is we have the same hierarchy up there. So we'll click on the same test point. We will click on the fan that we were looking at earlier and on that data point as well. And you can see immediately I have that nice trend that I had from before. You can see where it was below the yellow when it crossed the yellow thresh point, where it went above the red below the yellow and above the red again in a nice pie chart depicting how many times it went over the red, how many times it went over the yellow, how many times it's been in the green. Now we can simply drill down on any particular reading at any time and see the spectrum. So I'll look at that spectrum. I can look at the one above. Um, and then what I can do really useful is I can go to a large spectrum so I can really do some heavy duty post-processing. So this way I can really drill in, bring these wings over, regraph it, pull that spectrum out so that I can look at the one times running speed uh, peak here. I can click on that and mark it so I've got its amplitude and its frequency. I can look for bearing markers, RPM markers, all that is heavily loaded onto this post-processing device. But what's even nicer, uh, we're gonna pull the spectrum back down real quick and we're gonna simply go to the view button and go to vibration data. And what this is gonna do for us is allow us to select all the plants, all the areas within our plant or asset points, hit show all, and then simply just click get data. And what this is gonna do is pull down a nice report of the whole entire factory or plant or asset that we're measuring at this in this report and pull out how many uh, asset points of equipment are in the yellow, how many are in the red, how many are the green, and we can drill down on those at any particular, as you see, I'm scrolling through them all here. Um, it, very, very easy to do final reports. So there's no uh, heavy lifting here. You simply beam up the data, it goes up to the, uh, the web app, and the web app does all the heavy work to do all your reports for you. You just simply click get data and print out those reports for your uh, superiors. So this is a little taste of everything. Um,